Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to 20 pound of cards. I got one each of the freeze, which I love doing, and I got a diamond maze because I like that card. It is very nice. So 20 pound in total. Let's see if I can avoid the dreaded dud and let's see if I can get some wins. Hmm. Let's spin the camera. Let's see how we do the dreaded dud. Dud, 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 dud. Right, sexy frog. Let's have a clean sweep. All wins, please. All wins from all win. 2C and 3B. We've got 5D and 6B. It's not a good sign. And you don't want one from each row. You want from the same row, like there. 6D, 4D. 5A. And 1E, e. yeah, starting to bounce around a bit too much. 1D and 2E. Damn and blast. 4C, 9A, all the way down the bottom. We're going to get 7 and 8 next. 2A and 3E. Well, there's the 7. 7C. And to be, we got a win. 2D, we got all the twos. And 8C, just to complete that. Oh, more days, we got a win. Come on, give me something massive. Either. I'll take that. I'll take a five pound win on a three pound card. Right, bingo doubler. Let's just adjust my seat and let's see. What I see on this card, 58 and 62. So if you're still with me, hiya. <laughs> 58 and 62. I get stats on uh, what point of videos people skip. <laughs> Trust me, a lot of people skip. As soon as I even show a glimpse of this card, 62. But I will continue doing this card for all those people who like bingo. It's only one card. 35 and 53. 35. 53. And weirdly, on Anna's channel, she says the bingo cards give her a lot of views. 3 and 42. So it must be something Americans enjoy. Bingo. 3 and 42. I don't mind a bit of bingo. Reminds me when I was a kid. On holiday with my mum and dad at Butlins. 45. And they had those slidey clackety clack things. Oh, I used to love that sound when you went into amusements. All you'd hear was people sliding them. Clack, 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 clack. 2023. Yeah. 2023. Happy days. 14.34. I don't think we'll ever see the like again. 1434. 1964. <laughs> I remember my brother Ian though when he was little and was at Butlins. 1964. We'd gone out on a boat in Lake. <laughs> and he decided he'd had enough. And then rather than wait until we got back to shore, because he'd had enough, he just got out. <laughs> Started wading across the lake. My dad went ballistic, dived in the water after him. 69, 73. And of course, I just carried on rowing around. 69, 73. He was, he was so funny. 69, 73. 33, 55. He didn't off, get turned off. 33, 55. 33, nope, we got 22 and 44, look at that, all the fives, all the threes, all the twos, all the fours, what a weird little sequence of numbers, 22, 44, 22, 22, and last number out, 63, which doesn't look like giving me a win, I still get fingers though. 
is an amethyst. Oh no! <laughs> you got the dud! Let's move on. And never speak of that card again. <laughs> winter Wonderland. It's a winter wonderland. Holly and a tag. Do, do, do. There's a tag. There's some holly. Party hat and a glove. We got a smelly old sock and an ice cube. I say a smelly old sock. How do I know? Mind you, they could do scratch and sniff on this card, couldn't they? Scratch and sniff on the sock. Wouldn't smell any worse than the uh, that chocolate monstrosity. Cup of cocoa and a ribbon. Yeah, you could scratch and sniff that. I could have a smell. That could have a smell. Mm. These could smell of Kit Kats. And a wad as well, isn't it? Yes. So Kit Kats and a wad. We got a beanie hat and a bin bag. Lucky fingers and a scented candle. Trumpet and a bell. And then last but not least, a pound and earmuffs. There's a pound, there's earmuffs. And unfortunately, a dud. <laughs> Never mind. Right. Lucky numbers. What do you got for me? Something spectacular. 12, 11, 35, 23, and one. We want one of these to come up. So 12, first of all. We've got 38, 26, 34, 11, please. 16, 32, 41. 35 would be nice. We've got a 2, a 33, a 27, 23, 25, 14, and 28. Come on, number one, then. 13, 19, 8. We need a skip. Got a rainbow. Got a wallet. I got a ring of eggs. This is another dud. We did get a win at the start, didn't we? Yeah. If you can remember that far back. <laughs> oh. Ah. There we go, it snaps into view. Right, no method. Come on, sexy frog, you can do it. US, I hope that's not what this card is gonna be. U and S. Ooh, together. Two S's, nice. Oh well. Obedient. I wish these cards were obedient. Get me wins when I asked them. Asked for them. Is it L? There's the boiler. IV. Oh, I've got three of the vowels already. Not the ones we want though. A and E, please. So V. I, the I, blimey, we're going to get obvious. V and I, it's obvious I don't pay attention. Oh, Mr. No, V and I, J and F, I think we actually need a J for a change. J and F, there's an F, there's an F, and there's a J. Thank you. 
BY. So we got obvious. Ooh. It's a big word. Right. Oh, we've got A. And we've got Z as well. A and Z. But a few of you are now sitting up, paying attention. <laughs> Come on, E, N, R, those sort of letters, please. D, G. All right, it depends what these next two letters are. Is they good? We might even have a chance. If it starts being Q's and X's, it's all over. H and K, mm, not the best. Not the best at all. C, R. So we've got fur. Mm. Oh dear. Oh dear. N would be nice. An E. X. P. <laughs> P. P. Gets excited and then dashes your hopes. So we got no N, E or T. So we've only got obvious fur. Right. And there's nothing there, by the way. Let's go around the outside. So, got no T, it's a kind of fast or ant. Got no E, it's a kind of cake or key. Got no E, it's a kind of less. Sing, got no N. Two, got no T, stop, got no T. It's a dud. Oh, no! As I was saying to Michael Jackson. Why do the cards have to insist on being so cruel? So we started with a win. Can we finish with a win? £20 in play. I've only got a fiver. Who would have funk it? All right. B2 and A6. B2, A6. We do not want train tracks. And we don't want the key either. F3, F5. Lo and behold, F3, F5. That might as well be train tracks. You never get the key. E4, or the spade. You don't want the spade either. And C4, there's the spade. Might as well be train tracks. Hey, you might have it on as a prize. If you never get, even if it's like a five, I bet underneath the spade it's like a fiver. Or well, maybe not. Well, I'm under the key. Yeah, okay, maybe they are good prices. <laughs> right, H5. Train tracks, yay! G6. Train tracks. C7. And E7, train tracks. Train tracks. F7. C3, F2, E3, and B6, go on, diamond, train tracks, a lot of train tracks, C6, F1, E2, F4. C2. And B4. Go on, diamond, please. Oh, can I get can I get fingers? Constellation price. Give me five pounds, please. Oh, it's a dud. Well, I never. 
hit. It's cr do you know what? I'm glad I got the win at the start, the five pound win, but it's cruel. When you get the first cards a win, you start thinking, nice. And then it just snowballs into oblivion. But it is what it is, and it is scratch cards, and we all know what we're going to get when we scratch cards. You just got to hope for that one in a billion chance of getting one of the big prizes. Top tier prizes, where are they? Where I want to, even if it's not me, I want to see another channel get a top tier prize. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, um, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you lovely lot in another video very soon. Cheerio, everyone. Bye.